Pensacola said about Cornerstone, Thou will, will be done. He said, Unless the Lord build a house, unless the Lord build a house, Thou will, will be done. You know, I see y'all have had a great Sunday school. Uh, and pastor don't give the devil a black eye. I'm just happy about it. Because we're in a fight. And one thing my daddy used to tell us is you'd be about 10 of us to live in the house. And uh, my brother's assistant, he'll say, uh, uh, when, when it be a fight, he'll say, uh, Terry, what you did? I'm like, Dad, I ain't, I ain't do nothing. He said, you get over there. Uh, Ollie, what you did? I, I, I hit him. He said, get over there. All the ones that didn't do nothing, you get a whooping. So when, when it was a fight at the center, they said, hey, Ollie, fight. The whole house clear out. Because we ain't finna get no whooping. And when it comes to us as being cornerstone, when one of us fight, all of us ought to clear the house. Because thy will will be done. You messing with my brother. You messing with my sister in the Lord. But I got the answer why some of us don't do that. I got the answer why some of us don't clear the house and we don't mind getting a whooping. See, because I ain't like Ali anyway. Matthew, the 16th chapter. Begin at the 13th verse. God is so awesome. And how he's trying to tell us. He said, we are one body. But many members. And that's why when he told me to start this ministry, I knew when one of us didn't have some, we should get it together. They shouldn't have to go pin on nobody else for nothing. We shouldn't have to depend on no other house for nothing. If somebody here need food, it's another here we ought to scrape our house till they got food. And if we don't scrape our house, we ought to go in our bank account. You know that money that you've been stealing from God? That you ain't gave no offer, you ain't gave no tithe. Rape that thing and let's get them some food. I know some of y'all ain't going to agree because y'all ain't there. Matthew the 16, beginning at the 13th verse. It said, when Jesus came to the courts of the Simple Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say? Who do men say? Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Some say Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets. He said unto them, but who do, who do, who do, who, but who do, Ye say, who do you say that I am? 
And Simon, the one that everybody talking with, quick with his mouth, answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus. God, I said right now, speak to your people, God. God, don't let them keep coming in here in error hearing your word and going back out doing something else, God. You said about it as one. And we won't let the master manipulator separate us by Baptist, Methodist, Pente Pentecostal, Primitive Baptist, Southern Baptist. We don't got separated by everything but being who you call us to be. God, but right now, speak to Cornerstone and let them know that, that you are tired of just sending your word and, and they find another thing to do by somebody else's word, but not your word. But you just had them to sing a song, Thou will. So no matter what they try to do, Thou will. And surely your goodness and mercy is going to follow them all the days of their life. God, we say right now, you say in your word that you'll be lifted up from the earth. You'll draw all men unto me. God, I come to lift up the names of us above every name. And that name is Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way in this place. Don't let no one leave him without being convicted where they at. And they don't get free from where they at. And God, you said, I said, have your way. And God, will forever give you the prayer, give you the thing. In the Son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say, Amen. Amen, and amen, you can have your seat. I will be your captain today. Uh, we already got a bad weather report that some of our life is trouble. We got some turbulence in our life that we don't want to deal with. And that's why I ask that you put on your seat belt. You will not be needing your electronic devices on this flight. You can put them up because God said faith come by hearing. If you don't hear nothing else, hear what God got to say today. I want to talk to y'all uh, about a point. You know, uh, I know of Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan to me is the best basketball player that ever lived. Now, all y'all got y'all favorite. That's y'all favorite. I'm talking about me. Michael Jordan, I know of him. But I don't know him. If I was to see him in the airport, I might know him. I might not know him. But I know of him. But he don't know nothing about me. So I ain't nothing to him. I know of Donald Trump. He don't know nothing about me. Yeah. A lot of y'all come to church don't really know Jesus. Y'all know of him. And the problem is because we won't make the sacrifice that God wanted to make to have a personal relationship with him. Yeah, we'll tab every now and then watch Michael Jordan on TV when he was playing in Chicago. And I said, man, he bad. I wanted to get me a pair of, uh, uh, of them Black and red and white. God, you didn't give me the church that comes in. Ah, I ain't know that, but I guess I got it did. But, but what we did, we, we, we come to church, but we don't really take time to have that great personal relationship with him. We'll come to church and meet some people in church and say, yeah, I like that church. I like the choir. But you really don't know him. And so many times we get twisted. The Bible's a mirror that let us see ourselves as God see us. But we don't like that. We don't like that because the Bible, it caused confusion. And it causes us heartaches. It causes us hurt. And we get bothered with it. We, we, we get bothered with the Bible because of what it tells us. But we ought not to get bothered with the Bible. We ought to 
except what it's telling us and, and just love on it. But sometimes that's hard because it comes through against the real little thing that you really love. Y'all ain't never noticed that? That's when everybody get mad with God, when God spins around and talks against what you like. And we find a way to just get bothered. A little quote I had was, whoa, some people will never grow because they can't heal without being offended. They'll never grow with God because they being offended. And a lot of times I be saying what the Bible said, but they get offended with me because I tell you you, can't, you shouldn't be smoking. I tell you you shouldn't be shacking. I tell you you shouldn't be homemonging. So you'll get bored of me, but that's in the Bible. So that let me know you know the Bible, but you don't know the author. So many of us know the Bible, but we don't know the author. We might know the author wrote other books, but we don't realize we don't know this author. Y'all with me? Y'all ain't going nowhere. He, he come back and said in, in John 12 and 24, he said, Very, very, I say unto you, except the corn of wheat fall in the ground and die, it abide alone. But if it die, it brings forth fruit. A lot of y'all can't bring forth fruit because y'all don't know the author. He wants you to die. And we don't want to die because we love our flesh. We love it operating. We love it doing what we want. And the Bible said that you, you can't bring forth no fruit unless you die. Have y'all die. And all of can quote, I, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, uh, God so loved the world that he gave on. We know the Bible. But we don't know the author. See, the author wants us to die. And see, that's what I'm talking about. See, it, it is not that God, the Lord, has lost power. It is that the church has lost its focus. See, it ain't, it, God ain't lost no power. We don't lost our focus because what God wants us to be, we don't substitute it being everything else. Like God, we want God to compromise and accept everything, but we don't want to accept that he sent his son down to 42 generations to die for you. We know the Bible. We know in the Bible, but we don't know the author. But we know it wrote in red. If it was sin 100 years ago, it is still sin today. Don't water down the gospel for this offense generation. It's a bad generation, but we water down the gospel because we want to make everybody feel good. He said, worry is worshiping the situation. Prayer is worshiping the God that can change the situation. See, when you know him, you spend time praying to him to change the situation. But we sit around now in the church and all we do is, is worry about this problem, worry about that problem, worry how God going to change this, worry about Trump saying this. Trump ain't in control of nothing, but let what God let him be on. And if you knew that, you will know who he is. And that's why today I will go because I know the author. And the author won't mean to go through the fire. I heard pastors talking about the trial. He said in Job 23 and 10, he said, but he knows the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth <laughs> as gold. He said, now I know the way, he know the way I take. He know my steps all the time. He know as I got faith in me. He know if I'm concentrating on him. If I'm going to do what he said. He know that. So he know the way that I take. He said, and I shall come forth as gold. He come back in 1 Peter 1 and 7. He said, that the trials of your faith. He said, your faith is going to be tried. He said, bring being more precious than gold. That perish. Do it be tried. See, see you're going to be tried. But you don't just know the Bible, you know the author. Because the author was tried also. See, that's why he said, let that mind be in you. That is also in Christ Jesus. 
The addiction don't, doesn't care who you are. It just wants to destroy you. God doesn't care who you are. He just wants to restore you. See what I'm saying? If you know the author, the author going to do what he needs to do. And see, a lot of times we don't know the author, so we get caught being who God don't want us to be. And man say, show me. And I, I trust you. God say, trust me. And I'll show you. See, the, the author instead of telling you what you want is not what he want. He don't want you to be worrying about all these problems and situations if you living right. But see, we just come in the church and we ain't trying to die to ourselves. And that will get me back to this passage. Peter said, Jesus is the Messiah. But see, this was the problem that we had then that we still got now. He wanted to talk to them and say, when Jesus came to the court of Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I the son of man am? He said, now, cornerstone, and all y'all here today, who do men really say I am? Some say I'm God, some say I'm just a disciple, some say I'm just a, 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 a man, a natural man, some say all kind of stuff. He has a disciple that, who do man say? He said, some say you Jeremiah, some say you John the Baptist, some say you, who do y'all say he is? We ain't talking about what the, what, what the Bible said. Who do you say he is? He ain't talking about the Bible. See, y'all know what the Bible said about him. Who in your life do you say Jesus is to you? That when he came back and asked the disciples, I, don't, I know what all the world say about me, but what, what do some of y'all say about me? You come to church, you be in the church all the time, but who am I really to you? Have you went through the fire to become gold for me? Have you went to the fire, can you? Have you been tried that you still stand on who I am? Don't matter if it's against your mama, don't matter if it's against your dad, your sister and brother. Am I still Jesus to you? Or do you allow people to change your mind? You know what the Bible says. Do you let people take you away from what you know is true? Knowing the Bible is one thing. But knowing the author it's another. And I'm going to help some of y'all because what he said is in red. Y'all see him talking about hell. But don't nobody want to talk about it no more. I love that. See, sin, sins are like a credit card. Enjoy now, pay later. God tell him for the ways of sin and death, but y'all keep sinning. Because you know why? Y'all haven't died yet. So that tell me, you know the Bible says, but you don't know the author. Because God has commanded all judgment over to the son. The author. So he don't want you sinning. And you think about how many of us know the Bible, but don't know the author. He said, be careful with what you see then. You're allowed to take root in the God and your heart. Not all seed bear good fruit. See, sometimes we take on stuff that the world do and we, Jesus don't want you doing it. But now since all the church is doing, y'all want us to compromise or duplicate what the other church is doing. But we can't duplicate what the other church is doing because we know the Bible and we know the author. So the author wanted us to stay. He said, it is finished. He said, I don't change who I am. It is finished. He said, Father, it is finished. So now we shouldn't be trying to change the Bible. We shouldn't be trying to change what we know is right. And everybody that knows the truth, he's still going to hold you accountable for. He don't care about you going back to the world. He's going to hold you accountable for what you know. He said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And now when we want to turn back, we want to act like we never knew what he said. We walk around and go through life like we never knew what we heard. That's going to be a bad day. Jesus seek him because Google does not have all the answers. 
See, we Google a lot of things. But I found out that Siri don't know nothing about Jesus. Y'all always asking Siri, 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 whatever her name is. Huh? Y'all know her name, what her name is? Yeah, Siri, you know. Siri said, I don't know Jesus. Because you know why? The people that design the seer don't want you to know Jesus. They want you to go to church. They want you to do this. They want you to do that. But tell me why seer know who Malcolm X is. Seer know all the other people, but she don't know God. Huh? But, the, but Luke 8 and 11 said, now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. And don't nobody want to plant that. Don't nobody want to plant that no more. But I got to plant it because I don't just know the Bible. I know the art. We best friends. He's stick closer than any brother. So and we know that we know that scripture. Like my wife said, a lot of people quote all kinds of scripture. But they don't know the art. Have any of y'all became gold? Have you went through the fire? Have you been tried and tested that when people come against your God, do you fold up? When they doing stuff that's contrary to God, do you stay strong on saying on solid foundation that Jesus still is here? Or do we get in certain situation where we can't say what Jesus said? Because people say, did Jesus really mean you know, like gay people. Gay people want to change that, 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 that was just in the old temple, but it's in the new temple too. Say, so when anybody, a man, lay with a man, that's abomination. That hadn't changed. Huh? When you use a natural affection for what the opposite of you is, and then you won't, you won't, uh, 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 don't be wanting me because I ain't with it, y'all. I ain't with it. I ain't with it. I'm just saying, I ain't with it. I still know the author, and I still know the Bible, so don't try. God is trying to tell us something. Biblical warning, sugarcoat preaching is a danger to your soul. When they telling you all this, telling you all that, and telling you all that, that's why I said, he asked the question, how can two walk together except they agree? So if we ain't agreeing, how are we walking together? Huh? I don't care who you sister, brother, auntie, sister, auntie, whatever. If you know what the, the, the Bible. And why I tell me, don't tell me you don't preach in your house when your house won't follow you. Don't tell me you don't preach. Just tell me you're a preacher. Some you ain't no priest because the priest directs his house where it's going. Shoot. God don't give you a chance to be a man and then you let the woman wear the pain. Baby, you better put on a dress. We ain't doing that. No, sir. Where I go, where you go. Where I learn, where you learn. Y'all know that scripture. Y'all know the time at the women. Why wouldn't you follow me? Knowing the Bible is one thing. People can tell you they save all they want. But ask them do they know the author. Ask them, ask them if you committed to God. Don't ask them to do that. They say, don't ask them. Everybody say, they got sisters and punks say, they got churches with sisters in it. They say they say it too. Ask them, are you committed to the Savior? I'll ask them, who do you say he is? Ask the question. There ain't nothing problem. We go in there. This is what God said, because we ain't going to get mad with the apostles. We don't get paid. We don't get mad. Apart. Then what John six and six to three said. He said, "It is the spirit that quicken. The flesh profit nothing." See, that what Jesus said. The Bible said too, but we don't hear. We don't. We ain't gonna put that out in the church. We don't put that out in the church, Jay. We ain't gonna put that out in the church because we don't want about. We don't want about. No, your flesh ain't gonna profit you nothing. We ought to be telling people that. But that was John six and, and, and six to three said. It said, "It is the spirit." That quicken. The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So what I'm speaking to you, you ought to come alive. 
See, that's what I'm talking about. The church is dead now. Because everybody tell them you're going to get the promise of God. You can't get the promise of God if you're not committed. He told, uh, he told him, Moses, Moses, said, who should I tell him? Sent me. He said, I am. See, I love I am. No, ask me why I love I am. See, all y'all don't want to ask. But I want everybody to ask me. Ask me why you love I am. Because he told me I could be whatever you want me to be. I'm not limited. He said, that's why I know the I know the Bible, but I know the author because the author is not limited. Because all power gave to him in heaven and earth. He said, I, I woke up with all power. And when you uh, know him, you know you got all power. <laughs> oh, Lord, the church don't know that. The church don't know that. I'm just telling you, this, this, this just, it just battled my mind to know that. He said in John 8 and 47, he said, he that is of God, he is God's word. You therefore hear them not because you are not God. So how can you sit in here and hear God's word and don't come subject to it? I'm talking to everybody coming where you're a member, not a member. How do you come in here and hear God's word and then you don't come subject to? Saying you saved, but you don't have a church. How do you do that? He said, for Satan not to assemble yourself. How can they hear without a preacher? How can you be right with him if you know what the Bible says, but the author said it too? Y'all just was saying one. Then y'all, y'all raise y'all. Then y'all raise y'all hand up. Then y'all. Then y'all. Then y'all. Then y'all, then y'all agree to all them songs. Well, you look like y'all don't switch down now. What y'all know the Bible? I'm giving you what the author say. Why y'all looking like that? Why y'all looking like that? Where the church going? Where the where the real church going? I'm talking about the church that done became gold because some of y'all was singing a lie. Some of y'all right in here in this choir, you singing a lie because you are not committed to God. You ain't went through the fire. You ain't been tried because if you went through the fire, you wouldn't be dibbling and dabbling with unsaved people. You ain't got to say nothing. I've been tried. They don't love me. Family members don't walk out. Church members don't walk out. Preachers don't talk about me. Church talk about me. But I'm gold. Because I don't just know the Bible. I know the author. By the way, just to let, put it on y'all record, and so y'all can use it on your Facebook and, and put it out there. He my brother. I'm just, not, I'm just not in the church. I'm in the family. See, most of y'all ain't in the family because he ain't your brother. That's why people don't want to come here. They don't want to come here because they know it's the real deal. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Look at what Jesus talked to him. He was talking to the disciple. I'm coming back to Matthew. Don't y'all just rush me. I'm giving y'all my outline. He said in John 6 to 6, John 6 and 6 to 6 to 69. He said, Jesus would ask him, say, they said, this is a hard saying. So Jesus started telling him, he said, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Now, I just wrote that down while I was up in the pool pit, because God gave it to me. He said, son, you worrying about people leaving your church? You worrying about people going their way? He said, they started away before that. They, they left my church first. He said, you think that makes your church look bad? He said, but be not weary in well-doing. See, they left your church because it's well-doing. They left me. I was before you were. Y'all look what the scripture said. Y'all don't see I ain't lying. He said, in, in St. John 6, 6 to 6, 6 9, he said, from that time, men of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. He said, then said Jesus unto the twelve, will you also go? Let me ask the rest of y'all. Will y'all leave me too? That when he asked the rest, he said, so, 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 all the rest of them don't live, so will y'all leave me too? Because all I'm trying to get you, not to just know the Bible, I'm trying to get you to know the author. And everybody want to run somewhere else because everybody making them feel good. But when you feel good, you ain't going to feel good when that fire burn. He said, I want you to know not just the Bible, I want you to know the author. Let him become your brother. 
I ain't through. God just gave me that. I just wrote this down. That wasn't in my message, but he gave it to me. He said, then he said, Simon, Peter, answer. Lord, to whom shall we go? Apostle Simon, thou had a word to eternal life. And we believe and assure you are an apostle. We believe and assure that you are an apostle called by God. You ain't changed yet. You ain't changed because everybody changed. You ain't changed because everybody leaving the church. You ain't changed. You still preaching the same because I know the Bible and I'm a brother of the author. He said, thou, the, thou had a word of eternal life, and we believe and are sure thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now let me help some of y'all. Some of y'all don't really believe everything and say, because y'all come to me when y'all want to. You don't come to me on all advice, so you really don't know who I am, just like you don't know who Jesus is. Because if he left me in your stand, if he left me in the stand and told me to occupy, if you can't get in touch with Jesus, 292-1393, uh, 23 North 8th Street, uh, 664 six, Berkeley Drive, you know I'm at one of them places. And I have a minute of time that my phone been disconnected. Always able to answer. But when you want to do you, you just want to know the Bible. You don't want to know the art. Y'all ain't got to say now. He says one thing to know the Bible, but it's another thing to be connected with the art. Any of y'all connected? Don't lie. Any of y'all connected to the author? I'm talking about that you doing what he said when he said it don't matter how it come through. If it come out the 16 book, you line up with it. Now, y'all ain't going to lie today. Y'all been talking about getting it right now. Don't lie today. Just say you know your Bible. Listen to what he said. He said, he asked his, his disciple, who do your friends say? Who do your co-workers say? Who do other churches say that I am? Because we know what cornerstones say. What y'all say when y'all get with other people? Everybody's trying to talk about we got a different uh, a standard. We got a different Bible. No. Every scripture lining with them. And if some of y'all start using y'all Facebook to put it out there just sometime, y'all don't want the church to really know. Y'all don't really want the world or your friends to know what y'all are really getting in church. I ain't trying to, say, I ain't trying to tell y'all none, none of y'all subscribe. I ain't telling none of y'all to Google nothing. I'm just saying if that was your hard work, you'll be trying to get somebody else to know about it. Listen to what he said. He said in St. John 10 and 1, he said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that enter in not at the door, he that don't come in by Jesus, he that don't come in by the word, he said, into the sheepfold, but climb up some other way. Try to go through a church that's going to appease to you. Some other way. That's what I tell people when they leave heaven going to hell. You trying to get to God some other kind of way. Because if you love the truth, you can find a better place without the truth. You can find a better place that don't operate like a family. You can't find that. You can't find that. You, I searched all over. I couldn't find no other church like it. I don't search all over. I don't went to other church. They don't have what we got here. Just like a new restaurant. We've been tried by the fire. We just like, Cornerstone been tried by the fire. I'm, I'm just telling y'all. If you could take a selfie of your soul, would you find it attractive enough to post it? All y'all putting selfies of y'all little ugly self on the TV, on the Facebook. Put a selfie of your soul on there. Y'all posting everything up. Post your soul. 
Post what you really feel about yourself. Post that you don't really know God like you should. Post that cornerstone. Because the Bible says men's a lover of their own self. That's why y'all. You want the bag. But y'all ain't posting nothing about Jesus. And where you're airing at and where the world airing at. Just make me sick how y'all do God. He said, oh, he said, he said, the sheep will climb up some other way. The same as a thief. He didn't say you were just a thief. He said you're a thief and a robber. He said, y'all just hold me up all kind of way. You, you steal from me and then you rob me. That's what y'all do when y'all know what he, what he really stands for. I see some of y'all ain't showing no teeth yet. I don't know if you ain't got no teeth. I don't know what it is. But some of y'all, I thought y'all love God. Y'all don't love what God said now. That's why you know the Bible. You don't know the author. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll, he'll suck the life out you. That's why he said, man, I love that scripture that girl had the other night. Psalm 119, 71 and 72. I added a little bit to mine. He said, it is good for me that I have been afflicted by people. That was just a trial of my faith. He said, I'm going to see, Apostle Simmer, you really who you say you is. I'm going to let your family talk about you. Your sister, your brother. I'm going to let all of them talk about you. I'm going to let your best friend talk about you. I'm going to let your church member, I'm going to let your church member talk about you. I'm going to let everybody talk about you. Is you going to stay on the solid foundation? I've been tried. Y'all say I got on all gold, even sorry. I'm gold everywhere. Now y'all, 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 y'all let y'all mind one my gold, my, my, my dog gold. That's y'all problem. I'm just showing y'all this part is problem. This this part is problem because that what y'all look at. Y'all want me to look at all outside and look like y'all all right, but your inside ain't gold. Don't worry about my draw. Worry about my inside. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. I say that joke is crazy. Yes, I am. I love God. I love him. I love him. I love him. I'm so tired of everybody trying to act like they say love God and don't love God. He come back in St. John 10 and 5. He said, and a stranger, they will not follow. Them that know the author, you won't follow no other doctrine. Huh? Once you come into the truth and the knowledge, you won't follow no oil. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to find me a church that don't offend me. In other words, not offend you, convict you. See, them two different words, but they mean the same. See, because when I convict you, I already offend you. Unless you know the art. He come to do this. Knowing the Bible is one thing. But knowing the art is another one. Look what he said. He said, at a stranger. Will they not follow? But we're free from him. Huh? For they know not the voice of a stranger. When you start going against the Bible, you know that's the wrong voice. You start saying, when you go to funerals and church, you know that preacher ain't right right there. That's what you said. Once you don't came to Cone Stone, you could go anywhere in the world and you sit down and the first thing you start saying, the preacher starts saying, it's all right. You, we ain't going to do everything right. You said, now nah, that preacher ain't right. You might not be walking right, but you said, that ain't what, that ain't what a cornerstone said. You start talking to yourself, that ain't what a pastor said. That is not what the Bible said, because you know the Bible and the author when you was him. You said, that ain't right what he's saying right there. You know, they say it's all right to drink a little bit. You know that ain't right, but you going on drink because you all right with it. You know, but the author said, and then. And, Some of y'all act like y'all know the art, but you just know the Bible. Y'all can fool me. Y'all can act like y'all ride with me. I don't mind. They lied to Jesus like that. He said he had 82 disciples. And when he told them to eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, huh? Seven to, seven to completed it. Seven to got gone. And then one of them that stayed there, he was a betrayal, but he had to stay and fill the scripture. 
Ain't none of y'all standing here in the field of scriptures. I'm so tired of the enemy. And the enemy don't stole from this ministry. This ministry should be way gone. Should be way gone. But listen what it said. He said in Matthew 12 and 34, he said, Oh, generation of viper. And they always tell me, man, possibly saying anything. They had a, they had a, they had a, they had, they had, they had, they had talked about me using the word nigger. So since Jesus used generation vice, can I bring nigger down to y'all in the Lord's term of the dictionary? A born again man shouldn't be worried about the word nigger. And the reason why we shouldn't be worried about the word nigger, the word nigger means ignorant. And God said, I have not that you be ignorant. So Jesus called you a nigger. But y'all get mad with me for using the word nigga. But if you born again, why you worry about what somebody calling you when you know the word don't mean black or white? Spanish or Cuban or nothing. So if you know you born again, you know whatever you was or whatever you thought you were before. I ain't that now. He said, be not ignorant, nigga. That's what he told you. See, we get bothered with it, but that's what the word means. We gonna came into knowledge. We got knowledge of everything else. We got knowledge of an iPhone 5 and an iPhone 10. They two different phones, but they got the same backup. But the iPhone 10 got more. We should have more now. Especially we got the Holy Ghost. This is what it said in John 13 and 35. He said, but by this shall all men know that you are my disciple if you love one another. Don't get caught on nigga. I love one another. I'm one of his disciples. See, you, you, you get caught up on that because you're trying to find something wrong with who I am. But I can't be weary and well doing. Ha! Let me finish this message because I don't want y'all to get uh, confused. He said in John 10.10, 10, this is just in red, this Jesus talking to y'all. We don't know him though. He said a thief coming not but to steal. You see what I'm saying? Jesus trying to warn us that the thief come to steal and then we ain't died yet. What he don't stole from you or what he stealing from you right now while I'm preaching? Huh? What he stealing from you? See, this is the thing we don't understand. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. He come to do that. And we just act like we don't know no better. He said, whoa. Some people will never grow because they can't hear without being offended. He offended me with that. My wife just told y'all before I came out here. She gave y'all an introduction. She said, don't get offended when you're saying that when the pastor preached, he throwing off on me. She gave an introduction. But I'm going to give you a better one. I am. I am. What he told Moses. I am. In other words, I am throwing off on you because you shouldn't be where you're at. You shouldn't just know the Bible. You shouldn't know the author. The author is trying to get you from where you ain't. For all y'all act like y'all got a problem, get with the program. He said, who do men say that the son of man is? And they said, some say that man wrote the Bible. Some say that. Some say we Israelite. Some say the black man is the black Israelite. Some say that. Who do y'all say we is? See, all of us can't say we the son. Because we ain't living like a son or a daughter. That's why we like to hear what they talking about in that kind of fooling. He said, but the thief come to steal. He come to steal what you hear right now. He come to kill your children because you won't get in a place where your children can know how to live. He'll describe your relationship. He'll describe your marriage. He'll describe family relationship because that's what he come to do. He said, but I... See, he ain't here now. I'm in the stand. Ah! Come to get cornerstone abundant life. Ah! I come to get y'all life abundant. But you don't want it. You don't want it. Y'all don't want to be gold. Y'all don't want to be gold and black. Mixed with something. This is what he said. 
He says, some say you're Elijah, some say John the Baptist, some say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said, he said unto Cornerstone, but who say ye that I am? See, because if you really know the Bible and the author, you want me to question what I'm giving you. You know, I told the men, my wife told me a long time ago that out on the corner, so many churches asked, what they out there for? And, and my wife said, you probably helping more people on that side than you'll ever know. Because a lot of people ain't going to stop. A lot of people ain't going to respond. But the last two said, can I talk to y'all for a few minutes? All y'all all y'all don't know how powerful this ministry is. Because y'all don't know, y'all don't know the art. Y'all know the Bible. Two families don't came out there. None of us look like us. So y'all figure out the rest, what they were. But both of them came out there and asked for prayer because they seen some powerful men out there serving God. And they came for prayer. And the last family just came out there yesterday when they thought their child wasn't going home. They put it on Facebook. They put it on Facebook. They knew, I'm going to put this on Facebook because I want people to know that that corner out there delivered my son and he went home yesterday. They thought he wasn't going home, but he went home yesterday. They put it on Facebook. They took that picture out and put the bands on there. Give Jesus a chain. See what I'm saying? That's what I try to tell y'all about Facebook. But see, y'all don't want y'all friends to know y'all supposed to be saved. He said, it is good for me that I will have been afflicted. He said that I might learn the statue. He said it's good that I be afflicted. He said, and he said, and he said unto them, but who say ye that I am? All this time I've been doing stuff for you. You didn't get your job by yourself. He said, because I could have made it that you wouldn't be able to walk. That car you got, you know your credit wasn't that good. But I allowed you to do, to do that. You know, I know a lot of people got a lot of breakthrough at Cornerstone. Because I got some myself. <laughs> I got some myself. I don't got some breakthrough living right. I was, things don't turn around for me. I, I don't have some stuff that went against my family. And I said, God, I know you got all power. I know you can change that thing. Like, oh, I know it will change. That's why I, I don't just know the Bible. Because it didn't do y'all no good having this at y'all house. Or on y'all dress. Or in y'all car. For armrest. Y'all never get in there. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of breakthrough. Some of our family members messed up, children messed up, mamas and daddy messed up. A lot of people messed up. And we depend on uh, psychic. Psychic one, two, three to the left. We don't care. We just, we just pull it. He said, he, he tried to tell us something. He said, and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou of the Christ, the Son of the living God, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajon, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. He said, and he said uh, also unto thee, Thou art Peter. Somebody just asked me the other day, What your church built on? I said, Matthew 16, 18. We ain't Baptist, we ain't Methodist, we ain't them design, we ain't none denomination. We built on the solid rock. Because we don't just know the Bible. We built on the author. <laughs> we built on the author. That's what I'm saying. I love it right there, Ella. Don't make me shout, man. Don't make me just get, I'm blessing because I know him. Can any of y'all bless because y'all know him? 
Can any of y'all really know that? And everybody try to tell me, man, you need to be praying for the world. For what? Because you don't know the author. Come on, church. We're going to have a prayer meeting for the world. We're going to have a prayer meeting for the Pray that people get saved. Come on, praying for the world. Pray for the world for what? Soon as 911 was over, everybody went back to what they're doing. They had Jesus everywhere when 911 was because we need his help. Yeah, the dude said the other day, we treat God, church, like it's a, a staple store, you know, office store, and Walmart, because Walmart got everything, and then we got the liquor store. Ask me to explain it to y'all. You only go to the staple center when you need office supply. You only come to God when things ain't going right for you. At one church. The next church is Walgreen, Walmart because you got it. Uh, it's a one stopper store. So you can get some plumbing, some plies, some candy, some food in Walmart. So some people like that kind of store because you got, the church got everything. But they like the liquor store because they like feeling good. But in neither one of them, Know the author. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. Let me tell you what else. In John 17 and 9, it said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. See, that's what the author said. He said, but for them without giving me. Me. That been tried by fire. Me. That want to live for him. Me that don't want to take a step down. Me that want to don't compromise his word. Me that love him for dying for me. Me the one that healed me. Me. We just know the Bible. We don't know the art. Then what it said in St. John 17 and, 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 and 19. He said for they say. I sanctify myself that they that they also might be sanctified through the truth. So I preach truth why y'all ain't sanctified. Why y'all ain't gone? You been getting true. We, should, we got to stop fumbling over this stuff. Come on. I got a problem. I ain't there yet. You going after this but ain't going after God. You go after everything else harder than you go after God. That ain't being gold. When you can't hardly pick up your Bible, can't hardly pray, can't hardly, ain't, ain't loving coming to church, period. And then, Sunday school talked about us being, coming to church, slow for. You ain't got no energy to come to church, but sooner we get out. How do that happen? That you drag in him. But when you get out of him, you got all the energy. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. I, I, I've been preaching to y'all for a while. He said in St. John 17, 17, he said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. He come back in St. John 17 and, and 3. He said, and this is the life eternal, that they might know thee, the only God, and Jesus the only true God, I missed it. The only, the only true God. The only true God. See, see what I'm saying? The only true God. Stop being confused who you is. And stop telling me. I'm so sick of people telling me they say and they do everything the world do. Say, but you ain't got the love of God. You don't keep his commandment. He said, if you love me. He said, the only true God in Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Y'all hear God say that? Then he come back in St. John 5, 38 and 39. And you have not his word abiding you. You have not the author. He said he's the author and the finish of your faith. So that means he started right, he going to finish it. So just in case you ain't his brother and you ain't living right for him, he's he still going to finish it. 
He's, he's true. He's the author and finish. Then what he said? He said, and have ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he have sent, Apostle Simmer, him you believe not. I ain't begging none of y'all for no money. I ain't trying to get y'all to do nothing I ain't doing. I live by the same doctrine I preach to y'all. The same doctrine we teach, we preach to y'all. And here y'all is trying to, how y'all gonna find another gospel? There is no other gospel. But this gospel don't set well with people. It said, well, with me, let me read this scripture again, because this kind of tell you what people are. He said, and you have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent, him you believe not. Search the scripture. Now, y'all know I've been calling out scripture when I've been here. I've been calling out scripture. He says, search the scripture. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. 911 is the mercy for the truth, and we know but we got to give him a chance. <laughs> we wearing them shirts and bands, but we need to give him a chance. I'm talking to all y'all sitting here that haven't gave Jesus a chance. You just went to church. You're a church girl. You ain't the church. And they ain't said nothing. And y'all the same one singing about him. And I ain't got nothing to say. That's why I want y'all there because you be lying. Sing a lie. They said one thing about the church, they don't tell a lie, they sing them. It says, such the scripture, for in them you think ye have eternal life. He said, for all y'all that say, all y'all say, y'all love me and this and that, he said, well, such the scripture. Because they talk about me. That's why I'm glad God gave the word to me. I'm glad I don't have to go around searching for no word or looking for nothing. I'm coming on down, though. Y'all ain't going to get me to stop right now. He said, such the scripture, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which Apostle Simmel give you which testify of me. He said, what well, he give you testify of me. This is what St. John 5 and 42 said. But I know you. Y'all got that? Or oh, most of y'all ain't trying to look at y'all about right now because I'm talking about the author right now. He said, St. John 5, 42, he said, but I know you. I created you. I walk with you in the process of similar and around. I talk with you. I be on your cell phone. I be on your Facebook. I be on your Twitter, Instagram. He don't be there. But I know you, that you have not the love of God in your heart. You can't keep what I say. Because you know the Bible, or you know the church you go to, but you don't know me. I came down to 42 generations and became flesh and dwelt among y'all. And even when I left, I said, I won't leave you comfortable. But I'm going to leave these 66 books in the Bible for you too. So just in case you don't have none, I'm leaving with you. Do y'all ever hear the word sneak up on you and you hear something and say, is that somebody in there? Do y'all ever, ever be in the house? That's why I, I, I hate when my wife go out of town. Because when she at home, I go to sleep at 5.30, 6.30, When she ain't there, I heard a lady tell her, that he ain't scared of the dog no more on this house of the prairie. But I still don't go to sleep if I tear that lip. I hear every noise in the house. Not that I'm scared, not that I'm scared. I just hear everything. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with her there. That's why when the enemy come up against me, I, I'm comfortable when they come up against me. Because when she there, I'm comfortable. When people start talking about me, I get comfortable. Because it's only a trial of my faith. They want to see what I switch out on God. Could they, could they say something about me to make me act ill? <laughs> I don't know how to act ill now. But sometimes in my private time, <laughs> I would say, Lord, sometime. Sometime, Lord, free me. Give me a little leeway. Listen to what he said. 
Y'all about ready to go. I know y'all live, but I ain't going to let you go right now. He said in Matthew 11 and 24, he said, but I say unto you that it shall be more tolerant for the land of Solomon in the day of judgment than for thee. He said, I'm going to tolerate with Solomon more. More than with you. Because when Solomon and more, I hadn't died. I hadn't sent my son to die. But now, Jesus is going to die. I'm talking about the author that y'all don't know nothing about. I'm talking about y'all go to church and don't know the author. Some of, a lot of y'all here don't know the author. Out of all the world we don't preach, y'all will still be how y'all are. Yeah. Yeah. If you know the author. Pastor, you don't understand. Y'all are always telling me that. This is what it said in Matthew 5 and 43. You have heard that in has been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate your enemy. But the author say, but I say unto you, love your enemy. Y'all just wave your hand if y'all ain't loving your enemy. Wave your hand if you ain't loving your enemy. All y'all love your enemy. Well, I got one. Able, able to testify. All the rest of y'all love your enemy. Let me tell you what the author said too. All liars going to hell. That was the author said too. Because some of y'all in here don't even love each other in him. So I know y'all lying to me. Y'all got the issue with each other. Y'all talk to me about your issue. So I know you don't love each other. But I'm going to let you ride that loud. I'm gonna let, don't come up here trying to repeal on that line now. Because see, that won't tell y'all y'all don't know the author. The author already know you lying. Now you lied to me. What happened to Alan and Sapphire? He said, but I say unto you, love your enemy. Bless them that curse you. Any of y'all blessing people that curse y'all? You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Now y'all know y'all got some doubt in y'all heart. Ain't none of y'all, ain't none of y'all got no doubt. I told him he helped y'all go to hell. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. You can't make me doubt him. Terry know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Every round go higher. Every round go higher. Every round go higher. Oh, every round go higher, every round go higher, every round go higher in your heart. Oh, feel the fire burning, I feel the fire burning, I feel the fire burning in my heart. Oh, I feel the fire burning. Oh, Lord, I feel the fire burning. Because I don't just know the Bible. I know the author. And that's why people, that's why it ain't full back here. Because people don't want to know the author. They want to know the, something about the Bible. Only what makes me feel good is what I want to know. He said, love your enemy. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. How many of y'all do good to them that hate you? I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. But one thing I'm glad of, that I know the Bible, but I know the author. But the thing that I keep telling y'all, I know y'all haven't did it. Because he said, 
He only get a Holy Ghost to them that obey him. And I know a lot of y'all ain't obey him. So I know if you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you ain't doing anything that I'm talking about. I'll be like a lot of y'all, I don't raise my hand neither. He said, and pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. But sometime in the morning we be praying. I hate when God be telling me, pray for this one, pray for that one. Mm-hmm. God, I don't know. I know y'all don't say that, though. A lot of time we want to follow Jesus. He told them one time, he said, look, foxes have holes. He said, but you follow me. You might not have nowhere to lay your head. That's why we don't follow him all the way. We hate hurting people feeling that's in error. Jesus didn't care about hurting their feeling. I don't care about hurting their feeling either. I'd rather hurt your feeling now than him to hurt my feeling later on. That's what I tell y'all about, 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 about your children. It's, it's a bad thing to allow the love you have for your your sibling or your kid and then don't have the love to stand on what God said. Truth the only thing that people don't believe. I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than to stand with the world and be judged by God. A lot of y'all, that was going to happen to y'all. Y'all rather be liked by the world and be judged by the world that you a good Christian. Well, I'm a good Christian when I tell you the good news. Because that was the gospel is, the good news. The gospel, the word, it means to change the sinner. Not for the sinner to change the gospel. To suit the sinner. Come through, y'all. I don't know if I need to tell y'all anything else or not. What y'all think? Verse John 5 and 7 says, For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, y'all hear me? And the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So when I give you the Word, I'm giving you the Son, and I'm giving you God, and I'm giving you Holy. The Holy Ghost, they bear record as one. So that's what I'm saying. When I give you the word, you are not to have no problem. God is trying to tell us something, but we don't want to listen. From that time, Jesus began to preach, to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven it's at hand. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or tiller shall no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. The more you feast on God's word, the healthier you will become. The more you hear them. And I want to leave one thing for the YouTube, one thing for Cornerstone. You know, we in hurricane season. And y'all know their name, Hurricane. And y'all get so scared of Hurricane. And God told me to tell y'all, Hurricane Devil is coming to land. Are you prepared? You can't go to Walmart. And buy nothing to get ready for the devil. Hurricane devil is coming upon land. What y'all going to buy from Walmart? What kind of water you going to buy to drink in hell when you're not ready? And he ain't going to look for you because you got no Bible to get you in heaven. And knowing scriptures don't get you there because the enemy know the scripture. He just can't live them. So y'all tell me today, do y'all know the Bible or do y'all know the Bible and the author? Because if you know the author, you align with what being preached him. I searched all over. 
and I couldn't find nobody. Look high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. See, I know the word don't deal with it need to do because I don't see that many up here. Y'all telling yourself. A lot of y'all know y'all just coming to church because normally you repent. Especially when I was talking about knowing the Bible, but y'all really don't know the author. And a lot of y'all didn't repent. Don't come now. Don't make no showing now. Even the children didn't come today. Ain't that so? Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody. I love this ministry. Because we ain't being fooled. And we ain't being hoodwinked. You choose to stay in sin. You choose to have hatred in your heart. You choose to lean to your own understanding. Your choice is there. But I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high. I looked low. Still couldn't find nobody. I know too much about them now. They can't buy me to preach nothing now. You can't, you can't fool me to preach nothing now. I don't care who lead the church. The foundation has already been laid on the chief cornerstone, which is the word of God. The chief cornerstone. The, the chief apostle. The bishop of our soul. The evangelist of the world. The Holy Ghost. Thank God for him being God all by himself.